Let's take the conversation now to Malawi. Okay. And uh, also we can talk about Joyce Banda uh, her also throwing a hat in the ring as well uh, to run for presidency. Uh, for the, This will be the second time. But uh, questions abound as well. We know she was actually away for almost four good years in exile because of the cash get uh, a scandal. And uh, I don't know if she was exonerated by the by the Malawi Anti-Corruption uh, Bureau. And uh, also, she was being investigated by Interpol uh, 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 as well. But leaders who, as we we've been talking about envoys, who have you know, cloud banks of misgivings as far as uh, uh, you know, propriety is concerned, uh, where they've been embroiled in corruption before, and then you want to take office again, uh, should we come with mechanism to ban these people who somewhat have been mentioned? And if she's been exonerated, good for her but we don't know we don't know for certain if she has been as well but is there a way we can actually come up uh, uh, with, with a solution as far <laughs> as people who have been uh, uh, you know embroiled in corruption not taking offices again mm -hmm. briefly just i think one comment on this will do uh, then we move further because we've got a lot to cover let's hear from uh, Tuje or uh, dr hasan kanenje hi hyenas can ban hyenas from me <laughs> <laughs> the thing is the people who are responsible for doing that themselves they're actually tainted mm -hmm. it becomes very very difficult you know we've had uh, some key anti-corruption people in this country who mm -hmm. themselves for instance yes. they've been extremely corrupt or at least their past is extremely checkered it becomes challenging now for uh, our sister in Malawi uh, I don't know whether that was a political thing because she was opposing the, mm -hmm. the president or the person who was running for the president or if it was true because we also know uh, what happens when you're opposing government. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I'm not seeing a path for her to go, get, 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 uh, get back to the presidency, which of course we know she succeeded uh, Bingo Madarika following his certain demise. Uh, in part because the position there is so divided. Yes. Uh, she had made an alliance yeah. with an, another opposition party, then mm -hmm. it, it broke up within a week, you know, it didn't even last a year. And in this country we know uh, in 1992, uh, I think the opposition got a combined vote about almost 70%, right? And they still lost, why? Because it was divided. So, um, specifically with regard to your question, it's extremely challenging to expect the custodians uh, or people to be custodians of, uh, cred uh, of credibility and merit when themselves, even how they got in those positions, you know, is questionable. Mm -hmm. And that is a crisis we're also facing in this country. Part of the problem when it comes to delivery and part of the problem when it comes to just perpetual mediocrity in lots of sectors. Mm -hmm. Thank you. To say? Yeah, very quickly. Um, I think I wanted to begin from where Professor left. Uh, talking about democracy, um, whether we really understand what democracy is. Um, it, it, it is very, very true that uh, um, there is a populist uh, approach to democracy that sometimes can uh, really uh, mislead us in how we understand democracy. Mm -hmm. Because uh, uh, Banda is uh, being, uh, you know, uh, vetted by the party, the political party, as uh, the representative. But as we say, uh, she's morally questionable in terms of uh, you know the cash gate issue, scandal, and all the investigation that uh, are mm -hmm. still pending. Uh, from there, I, I even remember where we started our conversation from. You know, with uh, the Kenyan invoice to different countries who were not accepted. So uh, what I want to say here is that uh, we really need to hold our uh, representatives or moral authorities. You know. Um, accountable on you know like on high stan moral standards um, and this is uh, something that is missing you should remember that uh, uh, in the history of democracy really uh, democracy has been looked down upon mm -hmm. uh, by many many people because uh, they just believe what, what do the masses understand about you know choosing good leaders with mm -hmm. uh, you know moral character um, it is not maybe until the 18th century that democracy started to become a value universally accepted uh, mm -hmm. because it was putting the emphasis mainly on the human rights, on uh, you know, the accountability of leaders, and, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that being said, I believe uh, our countries, our nations in Africa need to have a moral compass that has to be imposed on our leaders and uh, before we can uh, accept them in those uh, you know, public services position, we need to double check 
whether they really deserve to represent our our you know interests in okay. communities. Okay, let's hear from Joki then. I think taking from uh, Dr. Tusa, I think we need to start from ourselves because our leaders, they say, are a reflection of who we are. Mm -hmm. And it's very sad. Like in Kenya, of course, we have a very, very robust chapter six on integrity, yes. chapter six of the constitution, one of the best. If we were only to live to these things that we, 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 we talk about on integrity on the constitution, uh, we would we, we would not have the many challenges we do. So I think we need to go back to ourselves first, as individuals, back to the family, how do we raise children, and then maybe, I hope after a generation, we can be able then to say, okay, we are changing in culture. But so far, I think this will continue, and it's really sad. Right.